The next time you pull a steak out of the freezer, take a closer look before you put it on the grill. When farmers breed cattle, they can genetically select for certain traits, like even marbling. A Baltimore County farmer explains how it's done. If anyone knows what it takes to make the perfect burger, it's Hamilton Tavern chef Sarah Dudek. She's had a lot of practice. The restaurant sells about 300 burgers a week, each one prepared in this tiny kitchen in northeast Baltimore City. You can see how much fat is coming off of these burgers. But Sarah says it's not just fat that adds flavor to this burger. It's something more sophisticated. I haven't really tasted anything like it. Because um, you get some grass, you get some, some of the corn flavor. It turns out, constructing the perfect burger comes down to deconstructing a cow's genetic code. Nowadays, the ABCs of breeding include the letter D, as in DNA. Rosetta Black Angus Farm in Baltimore County has been using the technology for the past few years. Everywhere from, from growth to marbling, they even have genes for, for tenderness that they've identified so we can select for tenderness through, through the DNA profiles. In fact, farm manager Dean Bryant can manipulate about 21 different traits using DNA information and a process called selective breeding. We pick bulls that grow fast so that we get more growth and performance out of our cattle. Uh, and then we look at, at the carcass traits. Um, such as marbling, ribeye size, carcass weights, and those kind of things. We are producing a product that goes, goes to the consumer. Today, with the rolling hills of Moncton as a backdrop, Dean and his assistant, Steve Schmuck, are artificially breeding a group of cows. We use artificial insemination so we can select the best bulls in the breed and match up individual bulls to individual cows. Uh, to, uh, to make the best, the best improvement that we, that we can. The semen is stored frozen in liquid nitrogen, meaning a bull can procreate long after he's moved on to greener pastures. First semen that was frozen back in the 50s is still being thawed out and is, and is viable. Steve carefully thaws and prepares semen from the bull selected to breed with today's group of cows. This is a plastic sheath that's used to help protect the semen from any types of infections or anything as we're going through the uterus and into the cer through the cervix. Meanwhile, the cows move through an enclosed pathway called a crowding tub. It's designed with curves and solid sides and all the things that, that help make cattle work smoothly through a, through a handling facility. While perhaps a bit uncomfortable, the process isn't painful and it only takes a few minutes. After a calf is born, Dean takes a blood sample and sends it off to a lab for testing. The analysis that comes back gives him an even more complete picture of the animal's bloodline, information that's useful when it's time to breed again. There's also various genetic defects that have been identified that can be, be tested through, through this as well. Of course, genetics aren't all that matter when it comes to creating a top-notch steak. If we don't select the right genetics, we don't feed out the cattle the proper way, we don't cut the meat the right way, you're not going to get a great eating experience. That's why Rosetta controls every part of the process, from the genetics to processing, all the way down to packaging. The company's network includes about 5,000 calves. Some are raised here in Moncton, but others are raised by producers that partner with Rosetta. No matter where it's raised, they try to keep the final product consistent. This is the product that we're kind of shooting for as far as the end, end product with all the genetics and all the management that we're doing. This would be a ribeye steak with prime, prime plus type, type marbling. You can see the intermuscular fat through the, through the, the lean here. Rosetta Beef's reach is growing. It's sold in about 700 different grocery stores across the Mid-Atlantic and in restaurants, including, of course, the Hamilton Tavern. Rosetta's meat is processed and packaged in Baltimore, so from start to finish, it stays in state. Speaking of homegrown burgers, Maryland is home to about 41,000 head of beef cattle. Stream anytime, anywhere with the free PBS app.